it's music week and we're on the 365 vlog let's go Hello people, today is June 26, 2016, day 178 of the 365 vlog and we're going to be talking about music. Specifically, we're going to talk about this topic called the soundtrack of my life. Now I'm explaining to you how this all started. This began like today, maybe like a few days ago with Aria and we were just discussing like our favorite music genres and how to quantify our music into like one sentence or two sort of thing where you explain like okay, I like this sort of music, I like this sort of music, and then it just gives you an overall feel to understand what your soundtrack of your life might be. So Aria has a blog and she put it up on there and she explained what her musical interest was and why she got into it. I'll put it in a link in the description below so you can check out what, it, what she was talking about. But nonetheless, it got me thinking, what is the soundtrack to my life? Eventually we got to discussing this and it was actually a nice interesting notion when I thought about it was that when I thought about the soundtrack to my life, I thought that it was something that in a weird ethereal way means cool. To explain that to you guys so you know me a little better, what I really like about music or when I'm really into a song is just the moments that really capture me. Not maybe the entirety of the song, which is also very important, but it's just that rise into the hype and the cool down and just the overall feel into those ebbs and flows. So I guess maybe actually it is overall the whole song. So when we break down like what kind of music I'm really listening to, it's honestly like a mix, but it's mainly Japanese music with a throw in of like mainstream whatever, some hip hop and rap, and then miscellaneous, which is like whatever I saw in a commercial, cause I'm very lazy when it comes to searching for music. And I think finding the soundtrack to your life also puts your like mind in perspective because it's something that speaks to you like being touched by art in such a way that is really nice because when you listen to the song that you're like bumping to and it's just making you feel so great and it adds to your day, it adds to the overall soundtrack of your life. And that is not to say that just because what you like now is static forever, it's ever changing. And that's the real nice part about it. Like we all age and whatnot, over the years your music's taste will change and maybe your genres may change. Maybe not too much as, as you get older maybe you get set in your ways because you like a certain type of music and you're less open to others because you're used to a certain type of genre listening of music too. Oh, I'm great with words. But I think when I was reading Arya's blog, one thing that struck out to me was that the conventions of the soundtrack of her life didn't match up with who society thought she was supposed to be. This means like, so she would listen to like rock or like really hardcore metal stuff and it was juxtaposed with the position of a cute little dainty girl that the world saw her to be but that's not how she felt on the inside and that's not what she wanted like her music interest to reflect because that's not who she was. I think that speaks to something greater because like all in all in society, right, we all have this thing that we don't really want to like stand out too much to a degree. Granted, maybe some people are different and I'm just talking about just in a crowd mentality type thing that people tend to not like things that are too different. And that depends on the crowd of circles that you hang around in. That might be a little bit different than what I may hang around with and etc and etc. But what I'm trying to get to the point is right here that when people think of a certain type of music that you should look or listen to because of how you look, it makes you want to at least maybe break the mold in some sense, maybe if that's what your personal preference is. But I think I don't do that because I want to break the mold, it's just because I like that music. And I think that's also the same with Aria, but it just sucks because society puts you into this like ball that you, you should be in in a way. I don't know if that makes sense. But what I think is really important at the end of the day is to definitely enjoy what you like and think about it a little bit if you haven't given it some thought that what is it that you really like out of your music? It doesn't even have to be the lyrics because sometimes I listen to Japanese music and I don't know the lyrics. Granted the other day I listened to an Overworld song and that was fucking amazing. When I understood what the lyrics were it blew me away made me love the song 10 times more. But nonetheless, maybe it's just the feeling you get from listening to it that really gives you just that feeling of whatever it does, that happiness or whatever you get out of it. I don't know, I just wanted to ramble on a little bit. It's a nice little thing to think about when you're just thinking about it over the course of your life, how it has changed and 
where it was in certain years, like you can go back to when you were a kid versus now, and how those music tastes have changed. Yeah, that's exciting all, but that's pretty much all I have for you today, guys, and I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you made it to the end of this video, don't hesitate to hit the like button. And also, if it's your first time seeing my face, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button because I make new videos every day, and I hope that you enjoy them. So tell me, guys, what is the soundtrack to your life? I'd love to hear it in the comment section down below. Tell me. Tell me. Hey guys, I'm Vandal. Don't forget to keep it 365 and I'll talk to you tomorrow with another video. Peace. Bye. Because having a big ego is like having a big air of balloon, right? A big balloon of hot air, as they say. And eventually, someone's gonna pop that balloon, and depending on the fragility of your mindset, you're probably going to be very disturbed or very put off or something.